Hello everyone, this is Chen. So for today's video, I decided to do a DIY video. <laughs> First of all, I'm not I'm not a DIY person. I don't do DIYs. I'm not an artsy. Is that what you call it? But I love designing, but I think we're not meant to be. <laughs> okay, so in this video, since my posters are in a poster tubes like this for quite some time now sometimes you know like you just want to check out your posters but then you will feel lazy because thinking of like taking it out of the poster tubes and then you're gonna roll it up again and put it again in the poster tube so it's a process <laughs> so I wait, I put you on a tripod because it's kind of my phone is kind of heavy, so let's put you on a tripod. Okay, much better. So, so I search online like what do you call it? Like folders for posters, but it's so pricey, you guys. Like, I saw around 2000, 1000 just for a folder, and I just thought of an alternative way to make my own poster folder and I also saw a video on YouTube doing this so credits to her I just put the link of her video in the description box I saw her video and that inspired me to make my own folder poster folder <laughs> okay so this is my first time doing this and I don't know how will it turn out but I'm so excited to try this out and to actually put my posters, like all my posters in a more organizational way. <laughs> okay, so let's get it. Let's start. So you need, of course, your posters. I, if I'm not mistaken, I have 11 posters and <laughs> I didn't know before that I have 11 posters. Okay, so we have that. And also cake board. I don't I didn't find any type of cardboard but I just saw like a cake board like this and it's big. I bought it for 24 pesos and then also I got this plastic cover. The thickness I think is 24 size 24 if I'm not mistaken that I got the thicker one. I got the thicker one and per yard uh, it's 25 pesos I bought 10 yards you guys and it's a lot it's a lot so I think five yards will do not sure though this is my first time doing this and let's see let's see and also I bought the wrapper like the cutest one that I saw to cover this cake board because it's not looking cute it's plain and then also I bought a panzer because I don't have one I bought it for 50 pesos and also the tape I forgot how much is it and then um, ring binders so I bought four I also forgot how much each and also the wrapper I forgot how much I'm sorry I forgot to mention we did an iron to make flatten the plastic or to make or to help seal the plastic okay so we're gonna be using that later so we need that so first let's cut this into half I'm not sure if okay okay I think this is the size of my largest poster if I'm not mistaken okay let's see later By the way, this is the biggest cake board 
that they have. I don't know if this is really the biggest. I was trying to find like a cardboard, like this cardboard, but I cannot find one, so let's just settle with this. Okay, now let's cut it. I should make it straight, yo. <laughs> Okay, next one, let's wrap this with this. I'm not really happy with the design that I got, but this is the cutest one that I saw in there. Okay, so the most scary part, let's get it. So big y'all, okay, get it, get it. We will get our iron. Get it. Okay. Ooh, gee. I'll get this one to make my guide when I iron the plastic again. I don't have a ruler, you guys, but if you have a ruler, it's easier. So I'm making my DIY ruler. <laughs> okay. Then, after you seal the edge, Guys, if you're a miner, be careful on using this hot iron. You should be supervised by your sister or your brother or parents, just someone older than you, if you are using hot iron. And also when you are using scissors, because it's dangerous, okay? So this one, the side that I folded, I'll punch this later and then I'll put the ring binder and put it or attach it to the covers that I made. So I'll show you guys the finished product when I finish all the posters. So, so update, I finished putting plastics on all my posters. And right now we're just um, putting all of them in a ring binder and we're halfway done i'll just update you guys after we finish doing all of the posters <laughs> okay so you guys we finish this oh my god wait i can pass it i can see the mess <laughs> okay so we finished doing my diy poster folder good job Jeff. this is what it looks like you guys I think the most challenging part of this DIY is the ironing part because especially when it's your first time like I was so scared earlier when I first tried it because it was my first time and I, I'm afraid that I'm gonna burn anything but 
but yes, it's easy to use and don't forget if you're still a minor, don't forget to be supervised by um, someone older than you. So, especially when using scissors and um, hot iron. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'll show you guys the finished product. I cannot... Okay, it's so heavy, you guys. And it's not perfect at all, but I did it with all my heart. I did it with love, okay, and that's all that matters. Okay, okay. First one. Oh, okay. So this is Roland Elmati, Jayen from RPM Max. The virtual play poster, I was so sad because they delivered it folded, but yeah, you can still see the lines. <laughs> But it's okay. They still look so good. Okay, next one. I put here my blooming time calendar. And I have another one um, on the wall. Okay. Next one. This is my LMT photo book poster. I love it so much. And I know I'm gonna love the comma second photo book. <laughs> next. My turn over nine version poster. I thought this was bigger than Gloria's, but it turns out that that they're the same size. So yes, they're so big. And my another ninth version because I purchased the regular and special edition album. So I got two of nine a version turn over poster. Official poster. Okay, next one. Turn over um F version, okay, F version, and my turnover S version. It's so white, it's, it's so good, like, it relaxes my eyes. <laughs> Next one, my Glorious um, Black Chaser official poster, and then last one, my Glorious Golden Chaser. <laughs> Golden Chaser! These two were my first posters ever, and I treasured them so much. Okay, so this is so. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy, y'all. So that's it. Wait, I need to catch my breath for a second because turning these pages is kind of. The pages are kind of heavy, you guys. Like I can, I cannot. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Okay. So now, I don't know where to put this, but the important thing is I have like a nice organizational folder for my posters. Like, I've been wanting to have this for so long and and I don't want to buy like so expensive uh, folder for these posters. So I just thought, of, why not DIY it? And it's easy and it's cheaper, you guys, a lot cheaper. And I hope this video will help you guys, especially for fans or for fantasies who are also wondering where to put their posters. Um, it's okay to put it on, on poster tubes, I think, but I guess like for a long run, like um it's not advisable i think because like it's all rolled up i don't know just for me and i just want to took them to care of my posters my you know like more i want to take care of them like i used to and also for fans who don't want to put their their posters on the wall you can do this guys it's so cheap like i think everything i just I spent less than 500 pesos if you're from the Philippines. So in dollars, like I guess 10 dollars, I spent only 10 dollars. So yeah, it's compared to 2,000 pesos. Oh my gosh. I just don't like the cover of this like so much, but it's okay compared to before like it's naked. Like you, you can just see the kickboard. And yes, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have suggestions, or questions just comment down and I would love to answer your questions and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you on my next vlog. Annyeong!